Hello students, welcome to YouTube channel Vidya for Success. Dear students, in this video, let us study the different types of diagrams. There are different varieties of diagrams which can be used to represent the data. So following are the different varieties. First one is one dimensional diagram followed by two dimensional diagram, three dimensional diagram and the last variety is pictograms and cartograms. So these are the four important types of diagrams using which we can, ex we can explain the data, we can represent the data so that a common people can understand it. Let us understand one dimensional diagram in detail. So what do you mean by one dimensional diagram? Nothing but here we will be considering only one axis. Usually we will be considering the y axis. So as you know there are uh, two axes that is in two dimension there are two axes x axis and y axis but here in one dimension uh, we can uh, represent the diagram either in x axis or in y axis but usually we will be erecting the bars that's why we will be considering the y axis so what is a one dimension diagram the diagrams are drawn by considering only one dimension so if you consider only one diagram one one dimension to represent the data to represent the diagrams then they are referred as one dimensional diagrams so here mostly we will be depending on bar diagrams and here only for while erecting the bar diagrams we will be considering only their height of the bar diagrams we will be giving importance only to the height of the each bar diagram we will not be considering the width of the bar diagram Okay, so as you can notice on the screen here, I consider few examples, few pictorial representation of bar diagrams. So, what is a one-dimensional diagram? A diagram drawn by considering only one dimension. As you can notice here, I have considered only one dimension. So that is y-axis. So all these rectangular bars are erected. How they are erected? Uh, what is the height of each uh, rectangular bars? They will be uh, explained, or they or they will be, or to say, uh, uh, depending on the y-axis value here. Uh, same thing here also. So you will not be considering x-axis. Not like this. Only vertically we will be discussing. So nothing but the diagrams where we will consider only one dimension, either x uh, uh, axis or y-axis. But usually we go with y-axis. They are referred as one-dimensional diagrams. Next, followed by this, as I told you early, earlier, here we will be considering the only the height. We will not be giving importance to the width. So, they are referred as one-dimensional diagrams. So, again, uh, one-dimensional diagrams, there are different varieties. The first one is simple bar diagram, followed by multiple bar diagram. Next, component or subdivided bar diagram. And the fourth variety is percentage bar diagram. Okay, so the diagrams can be displayed in one dimension. Among all these one dimensional diagrams, there are four different types. Simple, multiple, component or subdivided and the fourth one is percentage bar diagram. So let us understand simple bar diagram. So as the name itself is indicating, it indicated it is a very simple way of erecting rectangular bars on the x axis. So here, how are you going to represent the diagram? So here, the representation of data will be done by rectangular bars. So here, we will be erecting the rectangular bars. How we are going to erect the rectangular bars? What will be the uh, length? What will be the height of each rectangular bar? So the height or, or length of the rectangular bar will be equal to the data, will be proportional to the magnitude of the items. Okay, so for, for example, if we want to erect data considering the uh, rainfall in different months, so then each rectangular bar height will be considered against the, uh, what to say, uh, rainfall. So what is the millimeter rainfall that has happened? According to that, we will be erecting the rectangular bars. So how are you going to erect uh, or else consider a simple bar diagram? Simple bar diagram represents the data by rectangular bars. Okay, so by rectangular bars or of equal width and height proportional to the magnitude of the items this is very very important. So what will be the height of each rectangular bar? It will be proportional to the magnitude of the items and are drawn with a 
proper scale this is very very important so what do you mean by drawn with proper scale nothing but while uh, draw, considering the simple bar diagram we have to consider a particular scale that is what about y axis 1 cm is equal to what what does it indicate one let us say 1 cm is equal to 5 kg or else uh, 1 cm is equal to 500 people like that so what does uh, this scale indicates it the scale indicates what is the magnitude that is considered for a particular uh, let us say one centimeter or whatever may be the scale so for that we have considered no value so that is referred as scale so at the time of drawing the simple bar diagram we have to consider the magnitude of the items the magnitude of the items you need to be considered for erecting the rectangular bars and along with that we have to consider a proper scale next it is used why we are going to use the simple bar diagram because it is used to compare compare what compare two or more items of a single variable as uh, let us say that we want to compare the population of uh, different states in india so in order to compare a single variable what is a single variable here population i want to compare the population with different states uh, states of karnataka madhya pradesh uttar pradesh bihar like that so if i want to populate compare the population of different states then the best way to do that using a diagram is simple bar diagram it is used for the comparative study of two or more items of a single variable next example what are the different examples that i can consider for simple bar diagram is the figures of imports exports figures and population etc of a few years can be represented using a simple bar diagram now let us consider one example so here as a table representing the data if a common man goes to goes through this particular data he may get confused not get very much confusing but or a very common ordinary layman he will not be able to understand this so a uh, diagram or else a graphical representation will will help him will help him to make the things understand so that's why here there is a table representing the population in millions with respect to different time periods different time years okay so from 1991 up till 2011 we have considered the population in terms of million so in 1901 the population is 238 million similarly 1911 it is 252 uh, million it goes on up till 2011 so if i want to represent the data in a simple bar diagram it looks like this please notice here so here on the x axis i have considered the years and i have erected the bars so what is the height of each rectangular bar let us say what is the height of the first rectangular bar so the height is directly proportional to the magnitude of the item so here i am representing 238 so the height will be directly proportional the height of a rectangular each rectangular bar will be directly proportional to the to the uh, magnitude of the item what we are representing okay so uh, and also uh, as i told you in one dimensional diagrams we will be considering only one dimension so here we have considered the, we have uh, erected all the bars considering only y axis okay even the data is represented in x axis what does x axis indicate just the uh, represents the year 1901 1911 1911 1921 1931 these are the years okay but they are not having uh, greater significance here so which is having the greatest significance here here the population in millions that is the y axis what does the y axis indicates it indicates the population so here 0 to 200 millions next 400 million 600 million 800 million 1000 million like that okay so in order to consider this uh, what to say values for the y axis we have to first of all consider the scale proper scale so here you can notice here what does y axis indicate how are you going to consider a scale the scale is considered depending upon the highest magnitude which is the highest magnitude here 1210 so 1210 is the highest value highest magnitude here so if i want to represent 1210 in my graph sheet or in my paper they are in my sheet of paper then i need to uh, make sure 1 cm is equal to how much so here i have considered y axis as 1 cm is equal to 200 millions in case if your paper is a little bit lengthy graph sheet is little bit lengthy then you can go for 1 cm is equal to 100, even 100 millions or 1 cm is equal to 50 millions you can go for any value it's left to you okay so uh, here we always with any of the bar diagram you have to consider the scale 
so uh, as you can as i told you earlier we are considering only one dimension that is y axis here okay so and uh, what about the width of the uh, rectangular bars in simple bar diagram we are not going to give any importance to the width of the bar diagram yeah, it, it is of no use because width does not convey anything just for uh, simplicity or just for attraction purpose you can uh, consider any width if you want you can increase the width of these rectangular bars but all the rectangular bars should have a equal width and also along with that the distance between each rectangular bar should be same please notice here the distance between each rectangular bar is all same okay so uh, this is how we are going to construct a simple bar diagram so here we have included the title as well population of india from 1921 to 2011 so we have considered all the data we have not left with any any of the data so in this video we have studied what are the different types of diagrams there are totally four different types of diagrams one dimension two dimension three dimension and pictograms and cartograms and in one diagram dimension diagrams there are four different types simple bar diagram multiple bar diagram component or subdivided bar diagram and the fourth one is percentage bar so in this video we have concentrated wholly on only simple bar diagram i hope you have understood this with this i am going to end the video thank you